Uh, so it's a boiling hot day. I've got my Slinka white out here. We're gonna play some pretty intense 11 or King of the Court. Trying out the Signum Pro Polaris. Round string kind of peaky peak. So my forehand has been feeling absolutely terrible lately. So I'm hoping to get some of your thoughts, some of your tips, and a little bit of advice from you on some things that I could improve with it. It doesn't feel consistent. I have a hard time trusting it when I want to be aggressive. Oh, a few other things I wanted to tell you guys about were this string review. So I'm testing Signum Pro Polaris for this video. I also have some confessions to make about the tournament I played the other week. It did not go well. So, Signum Pro Polaris, I, actually, I liked it more than I was expecting, to be honest. It reminded me a lot of Yonex Polytour Pro, except for with a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more power, and not quite as good control. I found that after the first hour, that tension dropped, it settled in, and the ball pocketing really opened up. That was great on my flatter shots, amazing on my two-handed backhand. I really liked the string on that wing. And then volleys, it was super predictable and I could really control the depth well. Now, the downsides with the Polaris for me was definitely spin. I've been, I've, now that I've also tried Hawk Power, both of those two round strings, they're not grabbing the ball in a way that works well on my serve for one, but also my forehand. I was just missing so many shots between, you know, two and six inches past the baseline or past the service line. I know, he's ripped, have you seen? Huh? He's ripped, have you yes. seen? Okay, so he's way better than me, obviously, so now I'm gonna do cheating and use my heavier radical. That white out was dumb. Okay, so with the radical, it is heavier for sure since I've added some weight to it. But let me know if you feel like I'm doing something different with it when I play these couple of points, if it's having an effect on my technique or if it's just it's, the pure mass that's right. helping me find the range here. Because I do definitely, like, my shots feel like they stand up much, much better to, the, to uh, my friend Pat here's pace. Okay, that was, that was lucky. That was an out of position shank aggressive forehand. So I have also now experimented with putting a little bit of weight on the whiteout. Until now I was playing it stock and I played the tournament with it stock and that tournament I think is a big reason for the loss in confidence I found with my forehand. No! Oh. Good run Beckett. Good hustle. Good hustle. I do have some tournament footage that I've been debating whether or not to show you. So let me know if you want me to do a video on like, I just played my first tournament in four years and this is what I learned. I think I'm gonna play another tournament next week. Oh, I hit the backhand so hard. I know. I want, like, I wonder how his backhand so, like it's more flatter than his forehand. I think I am gonna try to play another tournament maybe next week to try to get a little bit more match experience. I'm like so gassed. Don't show that you're gassed. Nice shot. But going into it, I'm not gonna have a lot of confidence. But maybe that's gonna make me play freer, you know, play with nothing to lose. We'll see. I suppose if I was going to give myself one excuse for my poor performance, it would be like I've been having a lot of knee pain lately. The cushioning on these Lacoste shoes I've been wearing broke down super quick. Like, it only took a month to six weeks for the cushioning to kind of blow out, and then my knees have exploded. 
so it's hard for me to get a good knee bend. So I've been doing even more knee exercises, which has been helping for sure. Like today is probably June, today of recording, which is June 7th, is probably the first day in three, four weeks that I've had no knee pain since waking up. Just nice development, I will say. So a little bit about the weight setup that I did end up trying with the Slinka Whiteout. Put four grams at 12 and then I used the weight modules that you can put in the butt cap. And that was too heavy. After about 45 minutes of hitting, I was absolutely gassed. So I took two of the grams out of 12 and that feels a lot better. Um, one thing is the recoil weights. like hard to increase it because the main thing that increases recoil weight is putting weight at 12, which increases the swing weight a lot. One thing with the whiteout is the, the swing weight is so high, so it's like tricky to really get that recoil weight out without just like maxing out the static weight, which I could do, I guess, but I was trying to hoping to find a lighter setup than what I was using with my Extreme Tour. But then whenever I pick up my modified Extreme Tour, I think, wow, this thing swings so easy. No wonder it took me forever to find a racket I wanted to switch to. So I think my honeymooning period with the whiteout is definitely over. But I think at this point, I just need to like fight through it and I'll find my range. I had the same thing with the Extreme Tour. That was just, uh, Pat's son cheering for him, you know. That's like the main reason to have a kid, I think. So your kid can cheer for you while you play. It's definitely helped Federer win a couple more slams. So thanks so much for watching. If you've actually made it to the end of this video, let me know. If you enjoyed this video and you actually made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know that you made it this far by telling me your pick to win the French. And we'll see you next time.